<laughs> oh. So this is uh, SOG for every fire, a DLC for Arma 3. And it's the most amazing multiplayer I ever played. It's like I don't know how to describe what you can't do in this game. Yeah, that's right, what you can't do. It's like almost everything. You can build bases, you can fly helicopters, uh, tanks, cars, trucks, be a medic, be a scout, be a special operations, be a engineer. You can be a SEAL team, it's like you can be you can be scuba diving and you have to eat and drink after a while or else you'll be dehydrated and hungry you can be bitten by snakes so you have to have uh, like uh, anti-venom medicine on you or malaria can get that and dysentery if you eat drink uh, water from the the rivers or you eat too much food at once like all the shit you can do and put in your bags and gear and all the weapon you can have it's like hundreds of different weapons uniforms uh, equipment and the buildings you see this structure around here the sandbox everything this is built by uh, all this here is built by human players and as you can see over there he's uh, he's, keep, he's keep building so it's over it's about 170 different structures you can build and you can build them whatever you want uh, but you can't just build anywhere actually because you need to have supplies to build so if the helicopters and trucks don't bring in this you see the supply crate here you can't build so you need to have the supply crate uh, close by to build it. and now they just brought in a tank so if you're a truck if you're in the ground crew the driver crew you can drive the tank so it's like huge uh, Vietnam era war settings. It's like a total new game. It, it doesn't even remind me of Arma. The only thing uh, that's uh, still Arma is that it's very clunky and uh, uh, it can be a pretty system hog if you don't know how to set up it correctly. But uh, I have some tricks. First, you need to, if you have Nvidia, go to the physics settings and uh, you choose that uh, all physics uh, based calculations shall be run by your GPU your video card N not not the CPU so normally it Windows has it to auto so it's like both CPU and both uh, GPU but turn it so it's just your 3D card then the game will run much smoother uh, when there's a lot of action going on a lot of bullets flying because this game has very much physics based uh, the smoke is physics based explosions are physics based even the the shooting is physics based it's like calculate your ballistics you can see there's a trace around for every four shot. There's an enemy by the way, he died. Also the enemy reacts to you. If you fire a lot, you will, they will see your muscle flash at night or hear where the sound coming from and shoot towards you. So the AI is pretty good there. And basically what this is, is like a PvE server called Mike Force. And this server even adds... Um, more stuff to the game like even more complicated uh, things so like this thing here for instance what you can join here that's uh, just for the um, mic force but it's too much to explain actually and <coughs> just this um, video here uh, it, it will take uh, one, over one hour to explain and show everything you can do here so it's quite an amazing achievement and so many players online uh, everything running smoothly, good, no lag. Uh, even the server I'm on is uh, like it's from America, so I have 100 and quick shit. I have like 150 ping. So um, yeah. Also, the gun sounds and explosions are amazing. You can hear explosions and shooting in the di distance. It's like everything feels very realistic. And 
<coughs> what's great about Arma is that you can't just run around and shoot, you know, it thing takes time when you sit down, when you crouch, you bring up your gun to aim, you know, it takes a bit of time. You need, you need to have it steady before you shoot, it's like but that was very good about it, it's very tactical, so if, if you uh, play very good tactical, you will win. You, you don't have to be the best uh, shooter to aim fast, uh, super reaction, just just use your brain, you know? One or two shots to the enemy and they're dead. Um, same goes for you, and if you're stupid running around, you will be shot and killed. Like, it's very easy to die here. And uh, But AI is very good, like, if you hide behind the bush or crawl down in high grass the AI won't see you so but only if they see you hiding behind there they will maybe throw a grenade or shoot shoot randomly at the distance but if you manage to crawl away they will they don't know where you are so it's the AI is pretty cool to fight her actually and basically in this this game mode you need to take over these uh, areas here and you have certain tasks you need to do like <coughs> destroy sites and, uh, you know, destroy headquarters, AA, anti-aircraft, and artillery within 1200 meters. After you do that, you need to, after you've done that, you need to hold the place for a certain amount of time, and then there will be endless of spawns coming towards your base, uh, trying to kill you from all directions, uh, in 20 minutes or something, or maybe one hour sometimes. Depends on the mission. And once you've done that, this area will be green, and you can head over to the next one. So... Um, it's pretty cool and what I really like about this is like you can do so many things with your movement like you can have run normally like this or have your gun ready then it will move a bit slower but then you're ready to shoot much quicker or you can go even slower like tactical or you can crawl like this so and move to the side like this and it's like you can also hold down the area out, out inside and and look around. So there's a guy uh, wanting something. You can look around like this. It's pretty cool. Like uh, see your gear and and what's good about armor is that everything feels heavy and like it has weight and value to it compared to other games. Tom, we need to set up a fire bit. <clears throat> I'm a medic. Probably get in these foxholes. Oh, you're a medic, Tom? Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind then. You just heal people. No shit. And um, yeah. And also, you can be yeah, like I said, bitten by snakes. So you need to watch out for snakes. Um, but it's doesn't happen often. Maybe every th three hour or four hour, I've been bitten once by a snake. So it's Vegas. not that uh, occurrent. <coughs> What's going on there? They're over there. Yeah. So yeah, that um, the reason I made this video was because it would be pretty cool to have a squadron. So. If you want to play with me or we can make a squadron together, just let me know and I will put up a Discord link and you can just join. And I really recommend it, it's like, it's one of the best games I've played in many many years, I was just, I was just looking for this. Like a real tactical, good shooter, multiplayer, really fun, you know, a lot of random shit happening. And yeah, so I definitely recommend it. You need to have armor. You don't need to have the other DLC, it's just Arma and the Prairie Fire DLC. It's, I think it's pretty cheap now, it doesn't cost that much. And this DLC is totally worth it, it's like a totally new game. It, uh, everything looks and feels different. So, yeah, and there's a the Dead Knight Suckle too. <laughs> the Knights are very different and you need to shoot like... Um, flares up to see where the enemy are, to light up the environment, and it's more sneaky, and you can do more, uh, like, uh, then you can do more um, destruction mission, where the demolition mission, where you demolish buildings and uh, stuff, yeah. <coughs> no, 
Samson! <coughs> Medic! Fuck this guy. Get me up. I'm gonna slap this fucking man with an RPG. So I just heal the guy, and when you're as a medic, you need to choose your role in the start of the base. You go up to this uh, soldier guy and press yeah, 6, and you choose your role. So, yeah, I need to pay attention a bit here now. So, if you want to join me, just let me know, and I will. Um... Put up the link, the Discord link.